here down here in Detroit checking with team number 3339 Bumblebee. This is the winners of the ISR district number two. Uh, finalists as well in the district and also finalists in the Israel championship as well too. And number 15 on the FRC top 25 here in Detroit. So I'm here with Arik and Dor. We're going to talk about uh, some of the components and features that make this robot so awesome. Starting out, uh, you guys have a really cool arm. I know you're very proud to talk about that. So uh, run me through what's going on with the uh, arm system that you have. Yeah. So when we designed this year's arm, we wanted a robot that had many degrees of freedom. We wanted a symmetric robot. So this arm right here, let me just move it. It's completely symmetric. It goes both sides and we can lift it up. It goes all the other way to the back. It is also located on an elevator that goes up and down to help us reach that level three and that level two rocket. This right here also rotates and it can move and it grabs both the hatch panels and the cargo. It can score them in any field position, backwards, forwards. It doesn't matter to us, we just do it as quickly as possible. And moving on here, we have your uh, climber system. I know it's been very effective and impactful uh, for your team. So what's going on with the climber here, Dor? All right, so uh, our climbing mechanism is built of uh, four rack and pinion legs. Uh, as you can see, our, uh, our uh, forward legs are shorter than our backwards. Uh, what we actually do is uh, we, pull, uh, we take down uh, all four legs to the maximum height of the forward legs. Then we take our uh, intake uh, onto the level three hub. Uh, and then with the, those Colson wheels, we just uh, grab ourselves uh, forward. And then we fold up uh, the, f the forward legs. Uh, the uh, backward legs go uh, all the way down. And then uh, when, we, when our drivetrain is on, uh, the level, uh, on the level three, we fold uh, back our uh, backward, uh, backward uh, legs. And then uh, we're on level three, uh, all the way and wrapping up here, I noticed that you guys are actually using uh, a dual vision type system here, which is quite interesting. So why don't you tell us a little more about what's happening for that? Yeah, so basically we've got both a vision system set up and also a camera for the driver. So this camera right here is a 180 degree camera. It rotates both ways, so it can go backwards, just like this. So the driver can see anything both when he's playing in Telop and in Autonomous, on Sensom, sorry. He can see both to his right and to his left. And on the right side of the robot, we've got this Pixie sensor, also on a servo that can rotate to both sides with an LED ring around it. We can detect the, car, uh, the targets, the vision targets, and then automatically align our robot uh, towards them. The robot just automatically drives to them and picks the hedge automatically. I think that's one of the first times I've seen something like that with the full movable cameras in our bot. That's really cool. Well, 3339 looking really strong here in Detroit. Can't wait to see how you guys uh, end up. Good luck to you, the rest of the competition.